Welcome to credit for day five of your Excel packet. Um, first thing you guys need to do is create a spreadsheet that looks like uh, the one right here. Uh, you're going to need bolded headings across the top here for gas, electric, and total. You're going to need a total down here. And then you're also going to need a hot weather months electric and cool weather months electric uh, also bolded. And then you're going to need to put a border around these boxes here, as you can see. Uh, now, you should also change the color of January, February, November, and December to blue to remind you that those are your cold weather months. And July, August, and September should be red to remind you that those are your hot weather months. Uh, now, we're going to be doing simple Excel formulas. And um, I say simple because it really is simple. You just need to know how to do it. And afterwards, you'll be amazed at what you can do with this. And you can amaze your friends. All right, so check this out. Uh, we hit auto sum here, and what that does is that automatically adds up uh, cells, but we have to tell it which cells to add up. So I'm going to hit hold down the control key. That's that button that's right under the shift key. You hold that down, and then I'm going to click here under gas and here under electric. And you see how uh, B1, I'm sorry, B2 and C2, which is B2 and C2, uh, populated there or popped up. So then after I've done that, all I need to do is hit enter. Now you notice how that changed from nothing to a zero, because what it's doing now is it's adding the values here and here. And right now there's nothing there, but let's say I was to put a 34 in here and a 15 in here. Look, it automatically adds it up for me. Now I'm going to do that same thing all the way down this column. So watch how easy that is. I hit auto sum. Now it thinks I want to uh, add this thing above me. It thinks I want to add D2, but I'm just going to click over here and see how it automatically changes to B3. And then I'm gonna hold down my control key and it adds C3 and then I hit enter. And once again, I've got a zero there, but if I was to put something in here, let's say I spent $32 on gas and $18 on electric that month. Look, it automatically added that up for me too. Okay. Next thing, once again, Go to my total, hit auto sum. Okay, I don't want to add those up. I'm going to click over here. I'm going to hold down control, click again. B4 and C4, yes, I hit enter. Auto sum, click, control, click, enter. See what I'm doing here? All right, auto sum, I'm going to click here. I'm going to hold down my control key, click here, and then hit enter. And you see how easy this is. Boom. Boom, enter, auto sum. Click over here, hold down my control key, click here, click here again. And you can always tell if you're doing it properly because it will change from B9 to, there you go, or rather change to B9 and C9, I should say. We hit enter, there we go. All right, auto sum one more time. Now, usually uh, you're summing things up in a column like this, so it automatically tries to add those things up. Uh, it wants to add D2 through D9 right here. But again, all we have to do to tell it no is click over here, hold down the control key, and then hit enter. So you see how simple and easy this is. Click over here, hold down control, hit enter. Hit my auto sum button. Click over here, hold down control, click here, hit enter. One last time, auto sum, click here, hold down control, click here, and hit enter. And I'm done. Okay, that was easy. Now what do I need to do? Well, I need to total up these two columns also. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do auto sum. Oh, yep, that's exactly what I want to do. So I'm just going to hit enter. And I'm going to see if I get lucky again here. I'm going to auto sum up. Oh, yes, exactly. C, so it says C2 through C13. That's C2 through C13. So I'm going to hit enter. And I'm done. Right now, it's just adding those two right here. But if I was to put more in either one of those, let's say I put a 12 in here, it changes here. It changes here automatically, guys. All right, now the last thing that I need to do is I need to add up the cold weather months and the hot weather months. So I need to add up the, the hot weather months electric because that's when you're running the AC and it's expensive. So I'm going to go down here and uh, I am going to put an equal sign. 
which means I want this cell to equal something. And what I want to equal is I want to equal C8 plus, see I just click there and I'm going to click again, C9, I'm going to, and I don't even have to hold down control this time guys, I'm just clicking, I shift, hit my plus sign again, which is right next to your backspace key in case you're wondering, and then I click one last time and I've got C8, C9, C10, and see how they're all different colors? C8 is blue, C9 is red, C10 is purple, just to let you know which one you're working with, just to make it easy on you. And then you hit enter. And now you've got it. If I was to go here to July and put in, let's say I spent $56 on electric. Oh look, automatically $56. Now let's check our next one. I spent $60 in August because it got really hot. There you go, 116. It's automatically adding it up for you. And it's automatically adding it this way also. So if I was to put something over here, like let's say I spent $20 on gas, adds them up for you. All right, so our last one we need to do is cool weather months gas. Okay, so again, we're going to click here. What are we going to do? What's our first step? We're going to go up to our formula bar, and we're going to put in an equal sign because we want that cell to equal what we're about to tell Excel for it to equal. Okay, so we're going to hit equals, and then we're going to click on some cells. What cells are we going to click on? Well, we're going to click in on cool weather months gas. So that's B2. I'll click there. I'm going to enter a plus sign. I'm going to click here on February. I'm going to enter another plus sign. I'm going to click here on November. I'm going to another plus sign, and then I'm going to click on December. And again, you see how they're all three, well, four in this case, different colors, and you see how those colors correspond right there. Now, I've got all the ones that I want. All I have to do now is hit enter, and I'm done. Okay, so then all you guys will need to do afterwards is just fill in this table with fake information. You can put whatever you want, and it just needs to automatically self-populate. Which means, by self-populating, it means it automatically sums it up for you here. So when it when you put in numbers, they need to add up, and they need to add up everywhere that you've asked it to, to add up. And that's it, guys. Um, it's a simple process. It just takes some time. You're just going to use your auto sum function for most of it, and then also uh, you're just going to use that equals sign and then click on the boxes that you want it to add up, um, and then use your plus sign in between that. And if you were to click on a box, it tells you, so you've got your equal sign and then sum for addition, and then B2 and C2. So it tells you what your formula is when you click on box. Oh, look, okay, this is the sum of C2, and then you've got the colon there all the way through C11. So that means that whole range of numbers. Anyway, that's Excel. That's how you use it. Oh, look, it thinks I want to modify it. I'm going to hit enter. We're good to go. Um, and that's it, guys. I uh, hope that was helpful. Rewatch it if you need to. It can be a little bit tricky, but I think you guys can do it. And really, this is all the Excel you're probably ever going to need to use, and people will be impressed by your ability to use Excel. So uh, get good at it, and uh, good luck with the class. Oh, yeah, guys, I forgot one little thing. You just need to save it. So, again, uh, at this point, you guys should be very familiar with how to do this. We go to File. We're going to go to Save. Oh, mine was already saved as budget. Now you would go to file, say, I'm going to do save as, uh, which will perform the same function as your save. We're going to browse. I'm going to go to my Flash Gordo here. I'm going to go to Excel projects. And then what am I going to save it as? I'm going to save it as your name, in this case, my name. So I'm going to call it Ben McMahon budget. There we go. Click save. And you're done. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Good luck with the class.